Hi everybody, if you're watching this, that means it's time for the Sunday Makeup Basket. Um, got my glasses on today. Um, <laughs> some other items of note. Uh, this morning it was uh, sunny and mild and now it is cold and snowing. So, I don't know. Um, I heard, and it says on the calendar, that spring is supposed to be next week. That would be great, <laughs> to be honest. Um, also, heading into the fourth week of my employment, uh, thanks to everybody that gave me thumbs up and commented and liked um, on my Facebook and Instagram status, I did post my nameplate, not ready to talk about where it is yet, um, not publicly anyway. I have a 90-day probation. I'd like to get through that relatively unscathed. I will say that the job itself is not a 9-to-5 job per se, and that was one of the things that my boss had said when she interviewed me was that she didn't want a clock watcher, um, which is interesting because the majority of the people that work at this organization usually are out the door at 501, which is really weird, but that's fine. Um, I'm lucky enough to where I don't have to run home. I have the dogs, and as long as I get home, you know, relatively around the same area, I'm okay. There's been a couple late nights, nothing I can't handle, and um, I'm going to keep plugging ahead because I think it could be a really good position for me to not only stay in, but maybe to grow. Um, my boss is really progressive. She's very direct and has incredibly high expectations, and I think that might actually be just what I need. So right place, right time. Let's hope it continues. Now let's get to the products. I had a great week last week makeup speaking and the re weekly recap is up on my blog so if you'd like to check it out check it out uh, Max seems to think you should that's why he just barked so there are some things that go are going to remain the same in my basket and that's just because I'm just in love with them and those two things I'm sure you already know are the CoverGirl True Blend the Fix Stick and the liquid makeup I cannot say enough good things about this stuff uh, CoverGirl L'Oreal and even Garnier been knocking my socks off lately and I'm just very very pleased um, and hope it continues. Speaking of Garnier, used the Ultra Lift Transformer last week, using it again this week, really enjoying this. Love the auto adjust. Um, it's supposed to instantly reveal flawless looking skin, moisturize and over time wrinkles look reduced, skin feels firmer. I don't know about the older overtime stuff, definitely um, gives me more, oh there. Okay, let's just... Okay, sorry about that. Uh, somebody, I think it's the meter reader is coming around and Max decided to bark. So, like I was saying, I love this Garnier Ultra Lift Transformer. It has made a difference um, in my skin and I actually ventured out without it one day this week, or ventured out without foundation one day this week just with this and I really enjoyed it. I like how it feels on my skin, it's great. Um, going back to my last year's, not this year's, Pantone um, Universe, my palette, my eyeshadow palette from Sephora, which is awesome, and the blush palette from Sephora. I loved last year's Pantone Universe color, um, and I love these palettes. I don't know if Sephora has these this year. I'm sure you can see Max, but um, if they do, then maybe I'll pick them up because I do like <laughs> I do like both of them very much, and I do like Radiant Orchid, um, but I really like this color. I forgot what it was called. Uh, for eyeshadow, I'm doing the Skin Lux Premier Eyeshadows Collagen Boost Treatment Shadow Collection in Seduction. So since there's a lot of glare on this, I'll just show you the shadows and they have a little like plastic window over them which I love it's a great idea and that's what they look like all neutrals but um, I'm, I'm choosing this just in case the Pantone the orange gets on my nerves because it doesn't go with everything that I have um, in my wardrobe right the Carol Baker face frosting is my highlighter this week and it's just a powder highlighter but I do like it quite a bit you like it too do you like it too yeah then for mascara, I'm using my MAC, I think this is Dimension, In Dimension, Beauty Thesis can tell me about this. I like this. The only thing I don't like about this is the size of the brush. The brush is humongous. Um, 
but it's 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 a good it's a decent mascara i don't i don't know max not my favorite mascara but i have this i'm going to use it for blush you know i'm using my pantone universe from last year and i'm also going to use my stila convertible color i have a couple of these i have one from stila i also have one from dior um i don't know i just don't really like them but i really need to use them that's for sure then for lips i've got you know my my stand my like this has to get the Holy Grail, honestly. My Jumbo uh, Gloss Balm from CoverGirl that I still don't remember the name of. I think it's Jam Twist. Then I pulled out 130 Fruit Punch from Maybelline. This is one of those very sheer balm types. See how you can, it looks like jelly. And then I pulled out a Carol Baker lipstick in Breathless, and this has the moisturizing part in the middle. Very, very sheer. Mm -hmm. I do really like Carol Baker lipsticks. Um, in fact, they sent me a great package as part of their new spring collection, which is called Passport to Beauty. They sent me the lipsticks from the collection. So there's three. There's three different um, parts to the collection, mm -hmm. and they're named after cities. I think one is like Paris, Tuscany, and I'm sorry, I forgot the other one, but they sent me the lipsticks from that, and they're beautiful. Carol Baker makes great lipsticks. And then for my perfume, I'm using a roll-on from uh, Yves Rocher, Vanilla Noir, Black Vanilla, and it says it reveals the unique character and quality of Black Vanilla Bean, a fragrance that is addictive and precious, a blend of strength and gentleness. So the roll-on is nice because I didn't have to, to commit to a big purchase, which I really liked. And then I will tell you, I will show you the Carol Baker lipsticks. There's three of them. And I love Carol Baker lipsticks because most of them, not the one I showed you, come in these packages that have a built-in mirror. So I've got Plume, Tuscan Orange, and Cherry Blossom. Plume, which is the plum type color. And then Cherry Blossom, which I really think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of. And then, finally, the Tuscan Orange, which I think is beautiful as well. So, And I can make this work. Um, but like I said, Carol Baker lipsticks are really great quality for the price. And they have this little pop-up mirror in them. And a great variety um, selection of colors. Something else I'm going to be using this week. I'm going to ask you two questions this week. Um, this is a brush set that I got when I went to an Essence event. So it's kind of brand new. I actually took one of the brushes out today and used it. And I actually really like Essence brushes. I don't know how many of you have tried them. I've tried the eyeshadow brush, and then I have a flat shader brush that I used this morning. And they're pretty good for what they cost. I don't think they, they sell that set anywhere, but they do sell single brushes where I am. And I have bought the eyeshadow brushes, kind of live by them. Um, I prefer them. I actually, most of my eyeshadow brushes are like inexpensive. Elf, Essence, I think I got a Maybelline one for $2 on clearance and I really enjoy those. And then when I was at the groomers at, with Max this morning, um, the groomer actually, I saw these on a table um, and it's a necklace. Looks like beads, doesn't it? It's not, it's fabric. Isn't that crazy? Let me just get it to stop swinging, get Max out of the camera. It's actually fabric, and they're called featherweight necklaces. And apparently, there's an elderly woman that comes into her store. She knows this woman. I'm not quite sure the exact. I'm sure she knows her. And she saw the necklace and said, oh, I love this. And this woman does this in like her spare time. It's her hobby. And I saw them, and I was just so intrigued by them. I think they're so cool. You just put them over your head and they're light as anything. And I just think they're awesome. Like they could be awesome with a t-shirt or awesome with a maxi dress even. So I'm thinking I might pick up a couple more of these and maybe do a giveaway. Let me know. But my question for you this week, question one anyway, is um, what about your go-to brushes? Do you have expensive brushes that are like your favorites? Do you just mix and match like I do or do you just have one line that you stick with or you have one eyeshadow brush and that's what you use and also something else I just ran out of and I'm kicking myself for not getting more 
because I have to get these for my naturopath, are my Metagenics Ultra C 1000 vitamins. Um, I have a naturopath here in Canada, and my insurance pretty much gives me a certain amount of money per year that I can use towards certain doctors. So one of them is a naturopath. He is incredible. He's awesome. And he prescribed me, because I do have a pretty bad hormone imbalance, well, this is one of the supplements that he prescribed for me. I love this. This and the other two. These are very high-grade vitamin C tablets, and they're amazing. I can't even... Yeah, I can't even get over it. So that's my second question. What What's your take on vitamins? Do you even believe on them? Do you think you can get everything you need from food? And if you take vitamins, what kind do you take? Do you take the high-grade like these, or do you take ones that you can buy in the supermarket? So... That's it for this week. Um, I'd like to say on behalf of Max, who's wearing his St. Patrick's Day bandana. I don't know if you could see it. Here it is. Here, Max. Come over here, buddy. Nope. <laughs> so we'd like to say happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you so much for watching. If I haven't watched your video or haven't commented on your video in a while, please link it down below because I have been so busy with work that I have probably 10 to to 15 minutes a day to watch videos, so I can only watch like one at a time. Um, but So it's not on purpose, but I'd love to comment on your video. So please leave me the link. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.